um, terminal. I use it for MySQL, again, with Rails development. Um, system preferences, we touched on this in part one. And check out my applications folder, see if there's anything else I want to show you. Um, iChat. I don't really have anyone online to video conference with. So I guess I don't really need to show you that. Oops. Um. Let's see if I have anything else worth showing you. iWeb. I don't really use it. I don't have a .Mac account. I think you need to have one. But, uh. I'm sure there's things on it. Oop. I guess it's up here. It looks like it just has a bunch of pre-created templates. Looks pretty much drag and drop to me. Uh, I'll close out of that though since I don't really know about it. Um, Safari, I guess I could show you. If you have Windows, Apple recently announced Safari for Windows. So if you want to try out Safari before you buy your Mac... Good thing to do, probably. Unless you like Firefox like me. Um, I guess it's deciding not to load. Oh, there it goes. Just bookmarks here. Again, simple browser. Uh, the main thing that I like better about Firefox than Safari, per se, is that it's a more supported browser and that more people develop for it than they do for Safari since it has more market share. And again, the extensions, I haven't really found any extensions for Safari, whereas Firefox, I would guess, has a few thousand. I'll close out of this for now. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, I alert you is pretty cool. Um, basically, you can use your Apple remote and press the menu button, I guess, to lock it, or press and hold it to lock it. It will lock your computer it uses the motion sensor in your computer so if somebody moves it or knocks it it'll set off an alarm and lock it uh... then you can unlock it with your remote it's kinda like a car uh... i don't really think i'll find any use for it other than showing it off to my friends i guess but nonetheless it's pretty cool smc fan control uh... pretty cool program i'll launch it up here it'll show my CPU temp uh, and the speed that I have going on my fans and set the setting for the fan speed right now I have it at default if I move up to higher RPM it'll set it to the minimum speed of 4000 RPM so hopefully yeah, you can see it going up right now at first I was kind of worried because I thought it set a defined fan speed for my computer uh, but later I figured out that it just sets the minimum fan speed. So you don't have to worry about you have your setting at default and then your CPU just blows up because you didn't let it go high enough. Uh, it just sets the minimum, not the maximum. So that's good. Shouldn't harm your computer in any way. And let's see. Well, I guess that's pretty much it. Again, any questions or comments, leave them in the comments at either techadam.com or YouTube. Thanks for watching.